Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a spider. This is going to be a Black Widow spider. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I know it's there's not common. We have like very normal stuff here, but uh, there you go, spider. It's going to be step-by-step -step for beginners, and it's going to be a little more, uh, I wouldn't say like super realistic, but pretty real looking spider. So let's jump into it, okay? I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to draw the back end of the spider first. So it's going to be that big ball section, which I forgot what it's called. The thorax or something? Or is that the middle? It's kind of like a grapefruit or something. I'm going to go over here. Curve here for the front. And curve here for the front. All right. Easy, right? Bigger one, middle, and smallest right at the very end. Real simple stuff. Um, I can put a discoloration as well here. And uh, so let's go in and actually do, oh, I'm sorry. Line here and line here. It's going to be mostly for like the talent, uh, I don't know, claws or something. <clears throat> I don't know if you call it claws or not, but whatever's on the face of the spider talons or something no it's like a bird and now we're gonna draw eight legs here and that's kind of where it's gonna get a little dicey here so it's gonna come out from this area ish so I'm gonna go out curve out over here that's like one segment of the left one leg out over here another segments a little bit smaller out over here smallest uh, segment more of a point at the very end of that curve in here curve in here curve around the top down down curve it's gonna be for that segment again and then that last one looks a little bit like a needle or something so we got two legs all right, so let's go down here and draw another one. I'm gonna go down here, find that segment. To be honest, that reminds me of like a French fry or something. That segment. <clears throat> go over here on this one more. In. All right, so we got three legs, three legs so far. Let's do one more kind of coming out here. Like it's gonna be blocked a little bit by that that uh, area of the back there. So one, another segment here, and then one more that needle one. Okay, we got four. So that means we're halfway done as far as the legs go. All right, doing all right. Okay, let's go over here and find the front one again over here on this side though. Line over here, line over here. So got that one segment, big one. All right. Middle here. And then right there, that needle segment. Line over here. We're doing that other leg, the second leg on that left side, okay. I'm going to um, find another segment over here. And then this is going to go a little bit back, that needle segment. <sighs> now we're going to have one folding, okay. We're going to find another segment here. Line over here. And that's three on that side. We're gonna do one more, okay? And it's gonna be facing back over here. So I'm gonna have it come out over here, of that rear area, middle segment, and then down here. Cool. Let's do something to kind of wrap this drawing up. And I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
give it a uh, thick um, line around the contour, around just the outside. I'm going to draw like a thicker line. There we go. Just gonna draw on like a thicker line because I want it to look almost like it's a sticker. I like to ha I like it to have that kind of, you know, cool. Uh, I don't know, it just it looks better with a big line around it sometimes. I notice it kind of brings the entire thing together. Um, it kind of affects the complexity of the shapes, making it up. Um, it kind of presents them in a better light. Sometimes, not always. And this is a style-related thing, right? Because there's a difference between style and, like, you know, academia structure of drawing. So this is totally a style thing. <clears throat> Now let me draw a line here. Up. Like so. Line here. There we go. Mm, gonna put that like that. Just to thicken that line a little bit. But that's it. That is a Black Widow spider. Um, hopefully that made sense to you and hopefully that was chill enough. Like I said, reach out, um, give me some suggestions. This is like the slow season as far as like I can really reply to people in full if you guys reach out with the question. Um, and I can lead you kind of down this road and get you better at drawing, right? That's the whole, <laughs> that's the whole point of this. Or I mean, you can just draw along with this, but thanks so much. Talk to you next time. All right. Later. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here how to draw a dragon head I have anime I have cartoons there's categories for everything and everything is for beginners um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it this is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons so you can go through the entire site see everybody else's lessons and normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month um, because you're watching this video right now if you're still watching right now you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing boom and then you sign up um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent. And you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys want to do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later. And uh, hopefully I'll, see, I'll catch you over there later.